Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I just want to say, as I've said to you uh, personally, uh, we have three senators, President, Vice President, Secretary of State, that are exercising terrible judgment right now. And to say that you're going to do this, regardless of what we say, you're not going to ask for buy-in by the United States Senate or House of Representatives on, on behalf of the American people in a conflict that you say is going to be multi-year, some people say a decade, taking us into another country with a different enemy is exercising the worst judgment possible. And so I've said this to you as strongly as I can personally. Uh, that's in essence what you're saying to the chairman right now. Uh, saying if Congress wants to play a constructive role, we would welcome that to me as a political game. And I'm disappointed that you as Secretary of State, after being chairman of this committee, after espousing the views that you have espoused in the past out of convenience and parsing legal words, would make the statement you just made. So let me move on and, and say, I'd love, you say much has been accomplished, that's a nice photograph on the front of the Wall Street Journal. Tell me what's been accomplished. Who, what Arab Sunni nation is going to have a ground force in Syria? What Arab Sunni country is going to be flying in and bombing and doing missile raids with an Arab insignia on the side of the plane? Tell me that. Uh, Senator, you will hear that at the appropriate time within the next days as John Allen and the team work with all of these countries for the permissions, for the basing, for all the things that will take place. I've told you they have Let me ask you this. Are no, you no, convinced no, no. Let me, that that will happen? Let, let Are you finish. convinced that that will happen? Well, I've already said that. I, I so we will I have convinced. Arab Sunni countries participating in the ground effort in Syria. No, I didn't say the ground effort. And, and we're, you know, right now uh, the plan is to work through the, uh, and our judgment is that we can be effective working in the way that we are. Let me say a couple of things, first of all. Uh, with respect to well, your, let, let you, you can say the answer well, no, to my I, questions, okay? I'm not going to be filibustered. No, I'm going to answer your question. Okay. I'm going to answer your okay. question. I'm sure the chair will be, okay. you know, uh, happy to sort of have the kind of dialogue I talked about earlier. It's important to talk this through. I've got two minutes and 34 seconds and four more questions. Um, well, Senator, you haven't let me answer any of them yet. So let me try to answer the well, question. Well, the question is what Arab Sunni country is going to be putting boots on the ground in Syria against this now claimed army by your de deputy. At this moment, no country has been asked to put boots on the ground or no country is talking of it and we don't think it's a good idea right now. So there's no discussion of that at this moment. Now, with respect to the judgment about asking Congress to do it, I'm asking, do it, pass it. We'd love to have you do it. But we're not going to get stuck in the situation when we have the authority of not exercising our authority to do what we believe we need to do to protect the country. So we're asking you to do it. Pass it tomorrow. You're asking us to do it, but you're not giving any details because you don't have them. That's not true, Senator. Well, then share them. Uh, Senator, I'm not going to share them in public here today. Share them in a many classified of setting. I, I, I'm confident there will be so many classified briefings that you'll be tired of them. But at the moment, we're not going to lay this out until John Allen has had a chance to come to the UN on Friday, until we have had a chance to work uh, closely with all of these countries in order to make this as effective as possible. Do you realize how unserious the things that you have laid out and the things that were laid out yesterday sound? When you're discussing training 5,000, in y'all's own words, doctors and dentists and others, in Saudi Arabia over a year, I don't know whether they're being trained for offensive or defensive, I'd like for you to clarify that, activities. My understanding is that they will be given higher tech equipment after they prove themselves on the battlefield. Do you understand how unrealistic and how that effort on the ground where they are based where ISIL is based, <clears throat> doesn't match the rhetoric that the administration has laid out. And therefore, you're asking us to approve something that we know the way you've laid it out makes no sense. We have a strong sense that 
our army, our military leaders have urged you to put special forces on the ground, but no, we're not going to do that. So this doesn't even seem serious. It seems like a, it seems like a political answer to the United States as they cry out about this uncivilized activity, but it doesn't seem real to me. And if you're willing to get in a classified setting and lay out all these details and tell us which of these countries are going to be flying their flag into Syria, they're going to be putting people on the ground because we know, we know the Free Syrian Army cannot take on ISIL. Well, you know that. You talk about a multi-year process. We're talking decades if that's going to be our salvation. So I'll just close with this. I, I, I'm disappointed. Um, I was disappointed in the briefing we had last week. Um, I do want us to deal with this in an effective way. You've not laid it out in a way that meets that test. I hope when we come back and before you've put people in harm's way unnecessarily, you have a plan that achieves the end that you just laid out. But we know right now that's not where you are. And uh, again, I hope you'll seek it. I hope you'll say that you're not going to do it without it, and I hope you'll lay out a plan that will convince us that you're serious about doing the things you said you're going to do to the American people and to us about ISIL because you haven't done it now, and I hope you'll lay out a way to pay for it, to pay for it, because we know this is going to take many, many years, and it has to do with the safety of our citizens.